High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Hey, it's Wednesday, and it's time for school. Of course, talking about High Plains Technology with Katie Shirley. Good morning, and her guest. Welcome. Good morning, Brett. Today I have with me Katem Redfern. Katem is a senior at Fort Supply High School and um, is in our health careers program at High Plains Technology Center. Good morning, Katem. Good morning. Glad to have you on today. So we um, spotlighted Katem like a month or so ago about an experience she had that we'll talk a little bit later about at Swasu. Um, And so she just has a neat um, experience so far at High Plains. So I wanted to let her share with everyone kind of how that's gone. Um, and Katem is also a current student of the month. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you'll probably see her picture around town in the newspaper on the billboard. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, Katem. So tell us about your first year at High Plains, kind of all the way back to the beginning, what you thought like had, I know Fort Supply has a 100% participation rate, which means all students from Fort Supply come over. And I know there may have been a few that may be like, well, what am I going to do there? But are you one that kn- was already excited to come to High Plains and knew you wanted to do health? Or were you even on the fence about what which program to be in? Um, I would actually have to say I was pretty on the fence about it. And at Fruit Supply, they have it where there's about three options. You can do concurrent Um, which is where you take your college classes early, or you can go to High Plains. And Mm -hmm. then they have a dual option where you can do both, and then you just do that concurrent in your free time. So it's actually really cool that um, all of those, like the 100% rate of students coming is by choice. So that's that's pretty fun. Um, But so I was a little bit on the fence um, on what exact program I wanted Mm -hmm. to go into. I was actually considering multimedia because um, I'm very interested in the arts and such. But uh, I had always talked with my dad about going into the health careers field, and I was a little bit scared about the fact that it's an interview process. Right, to get into the program. But I thought that I might as well, you know, I I better put myself out there and try. And then um, luckily I was able to get into the program. Very thankful for that opportunity. Um, But... Yes, so I think that I really knew that I wanted to do health careers probably after my first few months in the program. Mm -hmm. In the first year, um, a lot of the curriculum you learn is over anatomy and physiology. Last year, they had us do the mental, the low level mental health certification. Mm -hmm. So we got to learn about. stuff that's actually applicable in like everyday life right. and so um it was really interesting to see like the development of mm-hmm. humans especially psychologically like we went over from newborn to right. um teenager and so that was kind of interesting because miss Cottom could be like i bet y'all are experiencing that like yes. teenage rage and, you're like, yes. and so <laughs> that was really fun um and so and then you get to build a mannequin, which is really right, fun the, because the then mannequins, that's a big deal and a big process. Is that you work on that? Do they work on them almost all year? Mm-hmm. And they get started around now or after Christmas? I believe about after Christmas, but it's quite a month long process because Miss Cottom really makes sure to go into depth of wow. what exactly you're doing because you build um, basically a person mm-hmm. from the ground up. So you do the muscles, the nerve endings. Um, you're able to pin, uh, pinpoint specific locations and then you get to add the skin, you build the eyes. Um, wow. It's also Miss Cottom and Miss McVicker teach you things in such a way that you can remember them even mm-hmm. if you do not think you can. Like I can still remember like um, your masseteri muscle, right. um, which is in your face because like, Miss Cotton would always make sure to demonstrate by like giving you a right. huge smile. That that's so. incredible of instructors because that's the main key is you want to retain what you're learning. So that that's awesome to hear. They are great. I I very much appreciate them and and the thing is like Miss Cotton and Miss McVicker um, not only make sure to take care of you in an educational sense mm-hmm. but also in um, 
a personal sense right. and if a person if they notice that um maybe this day you're struggling mm-hmm. like in your own life like outside of school work like they'll pull you aside and they'll be like hey what's the matter what are that's you experiencing awesome. and so yeah that's part of that family atmosphere and you've felt that too as a student yes okay so tell us about now your second year how's that going and now do you dive into um because health careers has very um very many options on certifications i can't remember the number if it's like 17 or 18 maybe gosh it's it's pretty high up there and so so then you as you start this year did you go in already kind of knowing this is what career major I want to focus on or do you kind of um, maneuver through that the first couple months so usually you have um, narrowed down what exact career you want to go into by uh, your the first of your second year Mm -hmm. because that's when you start on your workbooks and depending on which career major you choose depends on how much um work you have to get through like I know multiple people who will get dual certification because they were able to finish x amount of textbooks so you have multiple students who are doing medical assisting and phlebotomy just because um they knew that they would be able to get that finished by their their, their work graduation okay so um they usually really set us down and talk to us about all the stuff miss Cottom is great at like stopping a lecture and being like Raise your hand if you're interested Mm -hmm. in veterinary science. And then she'll say, okay, like we're talking about um, the endocrine system right now. This is how that would affect whatever animal you were watching or this is what you need to be aware of if you were looking, if you were working in that field. Mm -hmm. Um, So you're really exposed to uh, all of the options your first year. Yeah. And then um, your second year is when you get to start really applying all the information you've learned. I'm currently doing, um, I'm currently pursuing my pharmacy tech certification. I am on chapter eight of nine of pharmacy calculations. Wow. And then after that, I get to begin um, my pharmacy ethics textbook. And then I will begin doing clinicals, hopefully in March. Awesome. And the clinicals, that's really neat. You get to go to, so you'll go to a pharmacy And get to kind of have an on-the-job training under their supervision. Get a really good idea what that's like in the office. So um, tell us about when you went to um, Southwestern's Farm Corp event in October. How how was that experience for you? So that was actually um, really great to just be able to apply all of the stuff that I'd learned and see how that would transfer into an actual pharmacy setting even before doing my clinicals because right now where I am in my books it's really just me sitting at a desk and um, reading textbooks and checking my answers so as confident as I am in like my assignments right it's a little bit um, different than if mm-hmm. I was to be doing it in a real life scenario yeah. so then when I got to go to Farm Corp they simulate uh, simulated a lot of scenarios that you would have to experience in the pharmacy field and I was able to understand and I'd say that I had a bit of an easier time than the other students because Mm -hmm. I was already understanding some of the things that they were asking of us specifically like the symbols that you have as a pharmacist so like I know that um, two tablets PO qualm means like take two tablets early um, four times a day yeah and so one of the things was like code breaking mm-hmm. and I was able to um, break the code because without even looking at the reference because I was just right because I had already been studying. Yeah. Them, so. And so that's what I think um, you've been able to see is that value of a technology center compared to some students that are just at their high school doing their normal training and then they go to college. So you're having two years right now kind of like of preparing and so when you get to college you'll be kind of ahead of the game just like you were at southwestern that day because you've been exposed to it you've already been learning about it and so um, anything else you'd want to say about just your experience at high plains in general so i definitely have to agree that it gives you um an advantage and i'd like to also say that it's very cool that high plains um even though we have multiple high school students it's not only for high schoolers. Like we have a lot of adult students there and you are never too old to pursue higher education. And I think it's so much more commendable when you take that time 
in your adult life to um, go and do that. Like yeah. we have multiple adults in um, BAM mm-hmm. and other we have classes. Have a seventy-year-old student in um, the nursing program right yes, now. Yes, and that's that's, that's awesome. so amazing, yeah. and it's so exciting to see. So as thankful I am um, for all of the opportunities I'm given as someone who has not gone to college yet and hasn't, um, who is still in high school. It's so cool to know that there's um, an opportunity for any age group. Right. And um, I'm just so thankful that I was able to have that opportunity. And that's, that's an opportunity that many people can have. Yeah. Um, and so I'd like to thank the taxpayers for that that's because... Right. <laughs> Take advantage of them. Yes. And have your tax dollars and come, come out to High Plains and see how we can help you. So, Kaden, your next step after... Um, High Plains, what's your future plans now? So I am planning on getting my um, pharmacy tech certification and then pursuing my full um, a doctorate in pharmacy. Awesome. And so I'm going to Southwestern and then um, I'm going to do my two years of pre-pharmacy and then I'm going to apply to the pharmacy college at Swasu where I can hopefully then get my full pharmacy degree and so I can work as a... Um, a pharmacist. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm I'm very excited for that. Um, definitely well, that's looking awesome. forward to it. Kaden, you've been a blessing at High Plains and we enjoy having you and um, thanks for being my guest today. Yes, thank and, you so much. Um, we'll be back here next week on 100.1. Thank you.